Hi, it's John. Today I'd like to talk about off-grid living. So during lockdown in Scotland, we've been camping in our garden. We have a tent that we put up in the back garden, uh, which is absolutely lovely to spend the night with the family. And we also have a, a motorhome, or you might call it an RV, uh, in the front garden. And we've been setting that up. And you see I made a video on upgrades to help support us when we're off traveling. And I really wanted to talk about the experience of off-grid living, uh, even in this um, the short distance from home, like literally like five meters. And what really uh, blew me away was the ability today to use quite uh, relatively low price technologies such as solar. And so we have just one solar panel on the roof of the motorhome, and it's about 120 watts. And that powers uh, really quite a lot in the motorhome. So we're a family of four and a dog and we're able to power um, charge our phones like all the time. We're able to have a small 12 volt TV running for quite a few hours, like three or four hours in an evening. And we also have like a Hoover. Um, and even last night, if you see the video, my son ran his Xbox uh, from our inverter. So it just has two leisure batteries, two 12 volt batteries and they're connected to the solar panels. So really um, what amazes me is that um, even in Scotland where we don't get a huge amount of sunshine, you can actually generate enough electricity in 24 hours to keep yourself going. Really you're just generating enough to keep going through the night. Um, and the motor actually sits under a tree. So at the moment the tree's full of leaves and it's totally like um, kind of crippled the, the solar panel that's getting just a few watts through um, but it's enough uh, trickle to keep the, the batteries charged. Um, and that includes like we had lights on all night and we also have um, some propane gas uh, for a little bit of heating if it gets too cold, but there's like a fan running all night. Um, and it's just a beautiful experience. I think for me, a big thing about off-grid living is understanding what you consume and, um, and what you create. And so I really want to spend more time like um, understanding like getting closer to nature like how can I be self-sufficient with water with food um, and I think the, the big thing for, for me at the moment is like we're, we're just not sustainable at all with food um, and I'd love to learn more about how to, to grow uh, especially uh, in our garden or or when when we're traveling like how to how to eat like how to eat wild um, so yeah it's uh, super exciting times and I definitely encourage you to like um, go camping spend time in nature um, you know, keep safe and, and keep uh, social distancing where, where needed. But um, it's absolutely a beautiful time to like learn like new skills, uh, all about different technologies that can can help sustain us. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd share that experience. And I hope you watch my um, video, which I take you through the upgrades I've been putting in my motor. And I'm looking forward to sharing more. Uh, hopefully into July as we've got some travel booked and we can start sharing more adventures on the road. So thank you very much for watching. Sending my love from Scotland.